was the bell. And uh, we start with a 74-point up move. ONGC is right on top of the heap. Uh, you have some auto stocks that are starting strong. Uh, there's Hero Moto up about a percent. Uh, there's some buying on uh, m and as well. Uh, Adani Enterprises started, starts out with a 1% up move. State Bank of India, uh, Bank Nifty is strong by the way, half a percent up on the Bank Nifty as well. SBI is leading that banking charge. Uh, Axis Bank is looking smart as well. And to start off with, the uh, LTI Mind Tree is positive. I'm just looking at Infosys flat for the time being. And uh, TCS is seeing a mild gain of about half a percent as well. So the large cap screen is looking good. You've got uh, some more names like Tech Mahindra now on the uh, tech side. Wipro is looking positive. Reliance continues its big move from yesterday. So the good news of the market is you've got banks, IT and Reliance all contributing and that explains a strong start. On the downside, there's not much actually. Only Dr. Reddy's, which is down about 1.5%. Infosys, HCL Tech are absolutely flat. Otherwise, uh, you know, bulk of your nifty stocks, almost 48 out of 50, are opening out on the green side. So, good start to the day. Well, good start to the day. Stock of the morning, Polycap. Stock is now down close to around 10% and, uh, you know, it's at lower free. So, that will get flexed uh, in the next few minutes or so. So, that's the one that's uh, in trouble. On the flip side, in terms of the FNO stocks, the biggest gainer is uh, Sriram uh, Finance. So that's up close to around 5% as we speak, flying away. NCC, you had a large fund uh, coming in there yesterday and buying a stake in there. That stock, in fact, is up close to around 3%. Massive volumes. Torrent Farmers, another top gainer, up close to around 3%. And Kaporch as well, up close to around 2%. So that's about all the big stocks that are moving around. Gale, there was another downgrade that came in earlier today. So that stock's lost close to around a percent and a half in terms of, of its market cap this morning. Stocks moving up. Well, the smaller jewellers, they continue to move with excitement. Hopefully, the fundamentals as well are in line. RBC jewellers, you have Motisan jewellers, both of them up between 8 to around 10%. So, those are doing pretty well. Palmer Lorry as well is up close to around 5%. One of the top volume traded stocks um, in early morning trade. So, that's another big mover today. Easy Trip is another stock that's up close to around 3%. And RBNL up close to around 3%. Remember, yesterday towards the end of trade, you had Ircon that moved up and a couple of these railway related stocks. Today, you have RBNL that's moved up. And Abhishek told us the Bank of India numbers weren't so bad, the operational performance. Well, that's one of the top banking gainers today. So, good start. First few minutes look good. Nifty moving towards 21,700. The Nifty Bank clawing its way back to around that 20 DMA. 200 points away. That's going to be the big trigger for me. I think, uh, you know, it's a good start, right? 80 points. Uh, just a few other names. Uh, you were talking about smaller jewelers, but Senko is the big mover, right? 10, 11% on uh, Senko. Third quarter update coming through, and uh, it's got hum humongous volumes as well. So, on the downside, uh, Polycap, of course, is down 10, but look at KEI as well. I mean, maybe collateral damage, but KEI is down 6%. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, big volumes, so it's not... Uh, is, is, is coming off on very sharp volumes, 29.30 or so on KEI. Not sure there's any individual stock price performance or this is rub off from what we're seeing at uh, Polycab. Uh, but now almost 7% gone on uh, KEI Industries. Okay, uh, Cochin Shipyard is down about 2%. Uh, stocks at about, what, 7, 786. It's the top volume traded loser across the board uh, in the market. Dr. Reddy's is down about 1.8%. Uh, uh, there is uh, AstraZeneca, which is coming through uh, and is down about 3% or so. Large volumes. Uh, delivery is down about 1, 1, 1 and a third of a percent as well. Look at uh, RR Kabul. RR Kabul also had some, uh, you know, ED issue, I mean, the tax issues, uh, alleged tax issues, but 3% uh, lower on RR Kabul as well. So, 15, 16, 15, 17. All these companies where, especially on the building material side, wires and cable, where there is significant B2B exposure, I mean, uh, that is where uh, the uh, uh, the cuts are actually coming through. Let me just uh, <clears throat> run through some of the uh, sort of uh, stocks on the upside as well. Railway is a big theme. IRFC, RVNL, both up 5% and 3.5% respectively. Uh, so, uh, big, uh, you know, large volumes as well. Electra, uh, you know, the bus maker, we just, of course, had that news flow from Parikshit. 4% on Electra, 1776 is where we are at. And I think we did mention Sriram Finance, which yeah. is uh, gaining with about a 4% uh, uh, sort of gain at uh, this point in time. Right, you know, just to uh, tell our viewers why Polycap is down, you know, the news that's come in there, it's negative. It suddenly raises corporate <coughs> governance issues, which weren't uh, heard about earlier. <coughs> the stock is currently trading at around 30 times, you know, around 28, 30 times. After resuming, the EPS moves from around 85 rupees to around 160 rupees. Mm. So that's the uh, valuations weren't in their favor. The earnings growth as well you're looking at was very, very steep. 
the institutional holding in the company is around 20%. And this sort of, uh, you know, news flow worries institutions in particular. And the other point that we were asking Deepen as well about is that will it paint the sector as well? Because we're talking about the largest company in here, mm -hmm. B2B exposure. So that's why I think it has a bit of a rub off impact. Earlier, we had RR Campbell that we heard, and now you have Polycap. So that's why it appears the sector itself is seeing a bit of a knockdown. Yeah. By the way, Havels, not to say that it's in the same space, but uh, you know, there's some buying on Havels that's uh, evident for the time being. But otherwise, yeah, Polycap, I think the bigger issue is that this is not just, uh, you know, some tax mismatch. Mm -hmm. Uh, going by that press release, it uh, you know the allegations are yes. far more serious in nature. So we'll have to hear from the management, and we'll yeah. have to wait for the numbers as well, because now you know they'll have to deliver a fairly good set of numbers to keep the street uh, interest in there. I think next week or so is when we get their yeah. numbers. No, I, 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 guys, I, I think the numbers have been, as you said, they've been, they've been actually too Very good. good. Yeah. Right. So there's no problem with the numbers as such. So this is more uh, corporate governance and those kind of things. But I think. You know, uh, it'll be interesting and we'll try and do that. Look at all instances where there were these kind of, in, uh, you know, allegations of evasion, etc. What happened to stock prices immediately after the news mm. broke and what happened, say, a, a week later, you know, a month later, where, where stocks were. We'll try and do that. Uh, but, uh, you know, for now, of course, uh, as expected, stocks down about 10% uh, or so uh, right now. Uh, the market's up about, what, 90 points and uh, things are looking... Uh, <laughs> Things are looking pretty good overall at the index level. So